coming for? Say something before you put something in driving me crazy. Okay, what was the frantic call for? By the way, where's my boy? Where is the boy? Huh? Where's my son? My queen. On our way back from school, some some gunmen accosted us and took her and took her away from us. What? what? Uh, where is my son? Yeah, I'm okay. Where's my boy? Where is my boy? Where is my son? Why is my Where is my son? No, man, don't, don't tell me to come down. Where is my son? Hey, what is he? Where did this happen? Ojiri, Ojiri Road. Before, before bridge. My, my prince. Why did you keep my son? Why is my son? Why, where is Amabchuku? Why is and they he? Took, they took my boy. Is that what happened? Tell, tell me, where did they take him to? Sing to the church. Where did they take my son to? Where is my son? Where is my son? Did you just tell them to give me my son? Where is he? Where is my son? Wait, wait, wait. I'm talking to you. Where is my son? Did, did you see that? Where is my son? Ah, where did you keep my son? Paul, Paul, I will not take this. I'm telling you, I will not take this. Not from mother or anyone else. What? What is the problem? My son. I have sent the cards and the, uh, one of the drivers to take him and go register him in the school. They came back without him. He said some men accosted them and I kidnapped my son. No, that's a lie. That is not true. Father, I will not take this one. Believe me, I will not take it. Mom once told me that she's an extremist. If mom is responsible for... Father, if mom is responsible for this, people will see another side of you. Go and tell her to come and see me in my chambers now. What did you say? I said father wants to see you now. Where is he? In his chambers. Okay. The first time I met you, I knew you were evil. I knew you liked to play the first one. I liked you for that. But what I did not know was that you can be evil. Being a queen does not permit you to met out evil to innocent people and think you can get away with it. The only thing I need from you now is to return my grandson unharmed and alive. And I am giving you 24 hours to do so. Shut up! I did not invite you here to talk. I am the only one permitted to talk. And I think I am done doing so. Now go and do what I told you to. Get out! Get out and go and do what I told you to do. Get out! Nonsense. My love, stop crying, please. Pull yourself together. Our son is fine. Nothing will happen to him. I'm not sure he is. We're not even sure. They might have killed him. Who knows? It's not possible. They're not going to kill him. I'm very sure. My love, those men are fearless. They have no conscience in them anymore. I don't want anything to happen to my I, son. I know. I understand, my love. But let me tell you this. If they wanted to kill him, they would have shot him there and then. But they didn't do that. They abducted him. 
That means they need him to be alive. That means they want to ask for something. Okay. I'm scared. It's all right. Just scared. It's all right. It'll be fine. Nothing will happen to us. Yes, I did. Those men, how many were they? Four of them. Four of them. And what did they say before taking the boy? My pain, nothing. They just stopped us. Start shooting. What? They took the boy. They took the boy? Hey! And you don't know the direction they went? My pain, I, I don't know. Gosh. Who is behind this? Who is behind this? Get the car ready. You're taking me somewhere. Just you and I. Fast. Quickly, quickly, quickly! Who is behind this? Who is behind this? Who is doing this to me? Who is doing this to me? Who is doing this to me? Oh. suspect us. But now <laughs> I give you the pathway that you seek. For the boy is only the beginning that leads us to the end. Oh yes. <laughs> we shall all be glorified with the works of our hands. And at the end, we shall give thanks. Why this urgency in your voice? Smart. I am ruined. In fact, we are ruined. What? Someone was faster than us. How? As I'm telling you right now, that boy is a hostage. Somebody kidnapped him this afternoon. What? I am telling you the truth. I am so short of words. I am so confused. There is fire in my home. Everybody is looking at me. Who could be behind this? That's the puzzle. I don't know. I don't know who did it. My husband and my son believe I did it. And there is no how I am denying this one. Wrong show. Show gone wrong. Smart, that is the point. I don't know what to do. But I want you to help me get that boy out in the next 24 hours. Because my husband gave me 24 hours to provide the boy. <sighs> this whole thing has just ruined our plans. 
everything we have been working on that boy and his mother could have been carried out in a such a way that nobody would, would suspect us. Yes. But this one now, I... <sighs> I don't know. Smart, please help me. I want you to help me. Please, let's not just do anything. Help me to know who did dig how deep who did this. Nzegeb Ebo is not the smiling type, you know. Smart, your name is smart. And you are indeed very smart. Do you know I've been thinking in that direction? I want to go back to my shop. No, I disagree. You're not going anywhere. <clears throat> I can't stay here. I didn't tell my sister I won't be coming back. She will be worried. At least let me tell her what's happened to her mom, Chuku. Believe me, my love, it's, it's not the best thing to do. It's better you call your sister, tell her to lock up the shop, pick up a few things from the house and bring it to you. Why? Because it's not safe out there. It's risky. And you are the target, can't you see? I don't want anything to happen to you, believe me. I, I'll just die. Honestly, I'll not be able to take it. Just, uh, no, don't go there at all. Let's just do it this way. You call your sister, tell her to lock up the shop, Bring uh, anything you need, and then she's going to stay here with us until this whole episode is over. Then we get married. <sighs> okay, that's fine. But I... I can't get to her. She doesn't have a phone. How do I go about it? Get DK here. I want both of you to go to that shop we went to the other day. Huh? When you get there, you're going to see Amuche, the Yamaka sister. Tell her to lock up the shop and take you to her house. She'll pick a few things, lock up the house, then you bring her here. Okay? All right, my Good. Uh, but my prince, what? Dike is all right. Where did he go to? Dike went out to the queen. The queen? Yes, my prince. And who did she go with? Who else? Um, the queen demanded she went alone. Alone? The moment they get back, tell him to see me. I'll do that, my friends. Lie to you. I swear with my late mother's grief. Where did you take my mother to? To a garage at the outskirts of this kingdom. To see who? My prince. A man was already waiting on his car. As we got there, the queen alighted and joined him. Describe the man. I did not see him properly. I, I can't describe him, sir. You're lying to me. I swear. I'm not lying to you, at least. As we were driving, the queen addressed him. Smart. Smart? You mean the man's name? 
is smart. Yes. That's the only thing I know about him. There's a bad news, my prince. Bad news? Yes. What happened? Uh, my prince, I, I, I got there and I, I saw her lying dead. Yes. Dead? She was shot dead. Shot? Yes. I swear to anything, I don't have a hand in the kidnap of that little You can't tell that to the birds. Your time is counting. 24 hours. My husband, believe me, I didn't do it. I can swear to any day to any oracle of your choice. I can swear to anything. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. One good reason I should have shoot you right now. One reason. <laughs> so don't kill me. I'm your mother. Don't kill your mother. I kill your mother because they don't kill your mother. Son, we did not send you abroad to go and lend your unhabitual culture. Please put that thing down. Father, this woman is evil. Evil. She has gone a step further. She killed a muche. No! I didn't do it! I didn't do it! Then who did? I didn't know, I don't know. I can swear to anything, I didn't do it, my husband. I didn't do it, I didn't do it. I don't know, I don't know. You're so, so, so wicked. So heartless. How could you show so much wickedness against an innocent girl? Why? I didn't do it. Believe me, I didn't do it, my son. I didn't do it. I don't know who did. It's okay, son. Who is smart? Huh? You heard me. I said, who is smart? Smart. What is it? You are under arrest for the kidnap of one master, Amamtuku, and the death of his sister, Amuche. You have every right to remain silent, or whatever you say will be used against you in the law court. Mother, I kidnap. I will move. Wait, wait, wait. Annabelle! Annabelle! Come. What's going on here? Hold on! Please go and tell Uno that I've just been arrested. Oh. Now move! Quick! Okay. What did you do now? Now move. Easy now! Easy. Move! I'm a traditional chief! What kind of life is this? What have I brought upon myself all in the name of love? I... oh. My love, please. Tell me, please. I'm leaving. The only thing I have gained in this relationship is loss. What am I doing here? 
these issues will go away. It won't! It won't! All you have to do is tell your mother to get that girl she wants you to marry and let me live my life. I'm tired. I got pregnant. I lost my mother. Now I have lost my son and my only sister. This relationship has brought me nothing but pain since we started. What am I living for? Everyone is gone. What am I doing here? Don't, don't sound this way. <laughs> There's still a whole lot to live for. Believe me. Amamchuku needs you. Our son needs us. There's still so much to live for, can't you see? And I still love you. I love you very much. Then why am I being tormented because of the love I have for you? Why? Look, these are just tests of life. They will all go away. Believe me, very soon all these things will go away and both of us will live happily ever after. I can never be happy when my only sister is gone. Oh. I understand the way you feel, believe me. But I assure you all these things will go away. Okay? I promise you I'll always be there for you. I'm not going anywhere. I won't marry anyone else but you. I'll be there for you and I'll make happiness available for the rest of your life. Be calm. Please, Amanda, don't cry. Everything will be fine. Don't want to tell me the truth. Speak. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth is better. Yeah. better. Go on. You better tell me the truth. You got the next set of torture I'm going to give you. I doubt if you can survive it. It's better. I'm not tired of you. I was on my own. You don't know. He invited me and told me that my daughter should marry her son, the prince. It's better. I was on my own. I was on my own. They faced the death. For a traditional marriage. Still, my own is better. On the day of the marriage, the prince disgraced my family by rejecting my daughter in the presence of everybody. Still, on my own. I was planning, you know, I was planning to take the matter to the God of Justice, to judge between the king's family and my family when they brought police to arrest me. Well, I kidnapped somebody I never knew existed and killed. A woman that I cannot even identify if I see her. Still on my own. The prince called me a criminal. They want to kill me for nothing. The God of Justice. Madio, we judge. We judge. Send me more. Is a game. Is a game.
Yes. The doctors and nurses are working to revive him at the intensive care unit. Yes, sir. Yes. But the truth of the matter is that he's innocent of the allegation. Sir, the irony of the matter is just when I, when I was convinced beyond all reasonable doubts that he was innocent, he gave up the ghost. Yes, sir. I'm there right now, sir. I'm, I'm there. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. They have to be a miracle. God, please perform a miracle. Annabelle, thank God I was even coming to your house. What is it? Do you want to mark me again? Mark, okay. See, people saw your dad this morning as he was brought to the hospital by the police. I, I don't understand. Where is your father? Uh, he was arrested yesterday by the police. But I'm going to see our family lawyers. So that, that is it me. now. I think something went wrong. Maybe an accident or something I, I, I can't tell. Eh? But he's at the general hospital now. So we need to go there. Please, let's go. That's what I'm here. Let's go. I heard the police brought him here today. He's again. Yes, yes. Um, he's a problem patient. I'm sorry you cannot see him. Ha! Huh? Auntie knows. Which one is problem patient again? Every patient brought to the hospital has one problem or the other. Okay? I don't understand. He is still under the detention of the police. <laughs> Meaning? Ha! Meaning that you cannot see your father now. That is a lie. You lie. It is a big lie. What Tell me that. Therefore, you still call your lawyer now. Call you now first. No, no, so please say Hello, Barista. It's me, Annabelle. Yes, Barista, there's a change of plans. Barista, please, you have to come to the general hospital now. I don't know what happened. The police brought my father to this place, and now the nurse will not allow me to see my father. Uh, oh, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, you. What did he say? He said he's coming. Better. Let's wait for you. Please, you cannot wait here. Oh, please leave me. I'm going to this is life and death. I'm putting here. Also, here. What is it happening? I know. Well, you can have a seat, please. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Commissioner. So what's the problem now? Mr. Commissioner, when anything comes out in the course of your duty, learn to take responsibility. Don't look for anyone to put your blames on your irresponsibility. I am not part of that. Take responsibility for your irresponsibility. What is all this? So I should be blamed for your carelessness. Stupid. She's still sleeping. Yes, Father. She cried all through the night. I had no choice. I had to give her some sleeping pills so she could sleep. Stop blaming myself for everything. 
Don't have to do that, son. Good things don't come easy. Trust me, you will be fine. Okay? Yeah. Okay, girl. Um, Father, what's your final take? About the Queen? Yes, Father. I think she's saying the truth. She does not have a hand in it. You think so? I believe so, son. Who then is responsible? I spoke with the commissioner. He gave me assurance that they are on the matter. Let's just hope that they come up with something meaningful. Okay, I also want to ask, who is smart? One useless, spineless idiot who doesn't have a hand in it, neither. Well, I have to be honest with you. I'm still having this feeling that mom is responsible for everything. I can't stop feeling that way. The truth shall prevail someday, son. Yes. not supposed to die. No. Annabelle, can you just calm down? We're still walking on the road. Besides, the law has demanded for your dad's autopsy. This policeman definitely they won't go scot-free. They will pay. Just stop crying. Let's get home first. Be cool. I just lost the only thing I have in this world. What am I living for? How do I survive this? You will, my friend, and you can. Biko, let's get home. Stop these tears. I understand how you feel, man. Biko, can you not look at you now? Biko, please. I'm going to stop crying. Please. <laughs> Annabelle, it's okay. It's okay. Please stop crying. <laughs> lost him. This is bad. Very bad. I objected to that torture. But that evil woman, the queen, she insisted. Is that what you are going to say to the judge? What do we do? Think fast because we really need to act fast. There is nothing to be done than to submit to the law. The lawyer is already demanding for the autopsy. And that way, he will nail us to the wall. <sighs> Can we solidly fake your disappearance? Declare you wanted. Just for a few time. We learn every day, sir. Through our mistakes and through our correct moves. I had rather faced the law. That are trying to cover up for my sins. It's a lesson I've learned in a hard way. My conscience will at least be addressed. I'm very sorry. Trust me, I will never forgive that woman. Never. Trust me. Oh no, what did you just say? Zegabebu is dead. How? The daughter rushed down to my house yesterday morning and told me the father was arrested and taken to the police headquarters. And he asked her to inform me. Straight away, I called a council lawyer. I told him about it. I also gave the number to the daughter to control the council lawyer to the station. Go ahead, go ahead. The next thing I had this morning, away, was that the man was rushed to the hospital. He was tortured to accept a crime he never knew of. What crime? The kidnap of the little boy and the mother of his auntie. But why would they do something like that. 
they can make their findings and interrogations without having to torture anyone, let alone an old man. Igwe, I was reliably informed that the queen demanded that they torture the old man to accept a crime he never knew of. What? Even when the CP and the IPO objected to it, she made them to do it. Why would you tell the police to torture an old man till he confesses to a crime he did not commit? You are only trying to cover your evil deeds. My king. I was confused. He gave me 24 hours to provide the missing boy. And the only person I thought that could possibly have a hand in it was him. Since after that event, he has been very angry with the royal family for disgracing his daughter. He has been sending threats to the family. So I thought he must have carried out his own threats. I wasn't covering for anything. I am sorry. If I had believed you 50% before now, it has reduced to 10%. Please, my king. My husband, I can swear to anything. I was only trying to prove my innocence. Trust me again, I'm your wife. Please forgive me. For now, you are not permitted to set your foot outside this palace until I am done with my investigations. My king. Now, get out of my presence. I said, get out! Get out! Daddy, I killed my own father. I killed you. If that boy wasn't kidnapped, you wouldn't have been dead. You would have been alive for me. <laughs> But I said she don't make her arrangement by herself. Yeah. So I made a carry the boy give her. So now it's in the that. Boss. Boss. I think I won't beg you. You could not kill the boy. You are mad. I could not. Oh, boy, shut up, I beg. Shut up. Do you talk? I want to say the one kid, boy. I want that. You get that one. Anyway, see what Indy. And she carry her and tell me, say, you get uh, these people ready for not. They call their own foundation, or it's a bit picking, picking, it's a matter, matter, I don't understand. But she said they are own not to carry children, sell for all those people who know football. 
Or the two get care. So now we think they be that as I am, me do me. I will not harm you, okay? We will not harm you, okay? See, see, I want to take you to a new mom and a new daddy in the north, and they will be your new mommy and your new daddy. I don't want to see any new mommy. I want to see my real mommy. You know what? I will take you to your room, okay? Okay? Don't feel bad. It's not as if we are bad people. But now the condition of this country, why they make us do these things? We're just businessmen. Eh? Come, come. Hey. Easy. Sorry. This situation of the country. It's not for their fault. I just want to make some money. The police have ordered us not to allow you inside this palace. What is that? I said open this gate. I want to see the queen. Here, here. I have an important message for her. Open this gate before I break it. Madam, go home. Nabe, go home. Is at the gate making noise. She says she must see the queen, that she has an important message for her. But I told them that on no account should they let that girl into this palace again. Um, Omarcha, let's hear what she has to say. At least she just lost her father. Uh, tell the gatekeeper to allow her in. Yes, Your Highness. Um, tell your mother to meet me here, so that we can see the young girl. Anna, I told you to give me more time to fix back everything. What is this madness for? What is it? Give you some time to ruin more things? Some time to kill more people. What? Is that what you want? Kill who? Have you gone mad or something? What are you talking about? I did not sleep last night. I've been thinking about this whole thing. How it all started. And it dawned on me. Your selfishness. Your self-interest. Your pride. And your ego have cost a lot. A lot of life inclusive. I want to ask you about your daughter. My daughter? Yes. You mean Annabelle? Is that her name? Oh yes, that's her name, Your Majesty. I heard she's through from the university. She read law. Oh yes, she's through. Interesting. Um, um, she actually made the first class. Interesting. Yes, and um, she's waiting to be called to bar very soon. Very, very interesting. Interest in your majesty, I'm so happy. I would like <laughs> to see her here tomorrow. Tell her to see me first thing in the morning. Hmm. Well, it will be my pleasure, your majesty. I will convey your message. Thank you. Yeah. Excuse me. The queen sends for you. She says you should come and see her by tomorrow morning. Why would 
she sent for me? What kind of question is that? How will I know what she wants to see you for? Papa, one thing would have led to another. Why would she tell you to call me? Look, nothing led to anything. I was having a meeting with Igwe. And one of the maids came to me and said the queen wanted to see me. When I finished, I joined her and she sent me the message to you. Okay. What and what did you people talk about? See me see Pane. I know what I'm asking you. Look, my friend, go and get ready and see her. Ah. Asking so many questions. I heard you through from the university. Wanting to be called to the bar. Am I correct? Yes, Your Majesty. Very good. Very, very good. I see a prospective daughter-in-law in you. Oh, sorry, Your Majesty. I didn't get you. Wouldn't you want to be the next queen of this great kingdom? Oh, I, I will, but... But what? Everyone in this kingdom knows that the prince has made his choice of bride. Exactly the reason for this meeting. Yes, he has made the choice of his bride, but it was a wrong one. That choice cannot stand. I am making a better choice for him right now, and you. Sorry, Your Majesty, but you're not in a better position to make choice for the prince. I am. I am his mother, the queen of this great kingdom. My son can only marry whoever I choose for him to marry. And right now and here, I am making that choice in you. I want you to be his wife. Are you giving me your word as a yes to that proposal? She wants me to marry her son, the prince. What? Did I hear you well? It depends on what you heard. That the queen wants you to be her future daughter-in-law. Ekwa? Yes, father. Hey. <laughs> yes. I knew it. I said it. So fate has finally smiled on me. Hey! So in my presence, my daughter will be the future queen of this kingdom. <laughs> hey! Game! It's a game! <laughs> but father, yes? he currently has a date. Someone he loves so much and he has taken her to see the father. And so? How do you mean? How do I mean? You just said here that the prince took the girl to see the king's family. Isn't it obvious that they rejected his own choice and chose you over her? Think! <laughs> Me, I don't want. You don't want what? Look, you are supposed to be happy, excited, in fact. You are supposed to be jumping up and down. Do you know what this means? The future queen of this kingdom. 
Go and bring drink for me. I want to celebrate. What are you talking? <laughs> Father of a queen. <laughs> oh God. Go and bring my drink. I want to celebrate. But wait though. Just like that. I will become the next queen. Royalty. Hmm. At my words, people tremble. At my presence, people shake. At the sight of me, people bow. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Hmm. This is a rare opportunity. What every reasonable woman should dream of. I can't let this slide off my hands. Nee. I do not have any problem with the Queen's decision. She rejecting the other girl and choosing you instead. My problem is the person she's making the choice for. How do you mean? <laughs> this guy in question is far away in the States. He hasn't seen you before. What assurance do you have that when he sees you, he's going to like you? Yes. Because I don't, I don't understand this whole thing. He's the one getting married to you, not the queen. He should be doing the calling and everything. You both have to build this relationship to something meaningful. You're absolutely right. Marriage is a thing of love chemistry between two people. It doesn't matter how you met. What matters is how you see and take each other. Do you understand? So, you just have to do everything right. Do not marry for material possessions. Marry for love. Marry for the communication. You guys have to be close to each other very well. The queen calling you every time to give you information, I don't, I don't, it's not a good idea. Thank you. Have you thought about my proposal to you? Yes, Your Majesty. And what's your response to that? I, like every other woman, would like to marry your son, the prince. Loving him would be the best choice of my life. And it will cost me nothing. But I have a problem. A problem? And what's that? What if after loving him, and it turns out that he doesn't like me? Annabel. Yes, Your Majesty. We are royalty. We are not commoners. It does not matter what my son wants or what he does not want. What matters here and now is what the queen wants. My son has no choice than to do what I ask him to do. I have sent him your pictures. Anyway, he requested for your phone number. So you're going to drop it here with him. I will forward it to him. So that both of you can start the online relationship before he returns. Thank you, Your Majesty. I really appreciate this. You're always welcome. That was how, in your pride and ego, you deceived me. You made me to fall in love with someone who has no eye at all of love for me. Little did I know that you sent him abroad to mischievously end his relationship with the love of his life and bring me in as the scapegoat until that fateful day of the traditional marriage you almost had your way but nature has a way of proving to you that you're not God at the expense of my joy My father, he's not home. I'm not here to see him as a game. 
I'm here to see you. Me? I don't know you. I know you don't know me, but I know you, and that's what matters. So who are you? All right, let's say I'm a businessman, and I'm here to do business with you. But I'm not into business. You see, I know that, and I also know the pain you're going through, and I'm aware of it. I'm only here to make an offer to you that's going to restore back your happiness. And to make more money for me in return. Uh, oh, okay. Come on in, let's sit and talk. I don't do business at home. Let's go. See, I can give you back your lost joy, your lost hope for royalty, and I promise you'll be fine. How? Through what I call the elimination method. I don't understand. Please elaborate it more. Good. Now see, the only thing that is stopping the prince from getting married to you is that girl and her son. The queen tried to use a substitution method to bring you in. But that substitution method failed. This is why I said we use the elimination method. Look at it this way. Once that girl and her son is out of the way, the prince has no other choice than to fall back on you. Uh, wait, if I get you clear, you mean killing the girl and her son? Sort of. See, all you need to do for me is sign a document that once you become a queen, you will be paying so 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 amount of money into my account every month for a period of 10 years. And that's all. Hmm. Hmm. I am so sorry to disappoint you. I am not a murderer. I am not interested in this, your business. Excuse me. I know she will come back. You will. <laughs> you will come back. For how long am I going to continue like this? Why would the queen bring me out and leave me here at the middle of nowhere? No, she must complete what she started. The prince must marry me or he will never marry any other person. Yes, they can't just make a mess of my life just like that. It's not possible. My only problem is the boy. That boy is so innocent. How can he die for something he knows nothing about? Listen, is there any other thing we can do without harming the boy? See, we can kidnap the boy. Sell this boy to another country, and that way he remains alive. And for the girl, we know her charcoal shop, and we know she's always there. Um, give me the documents. I am in. Smart. 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 If you had allowed them be, maybe that poor girl's mother will still be alive today. Her sister will also be alive. And her son wouldn't have been missing. If you had not insisted that your son would not marry her. My father would have still been alive today. Now, after all these lives are lost, in your pride and ego, you expect to sit and enjoy your own life. Never! Your soul is 
required in hell. In your next life, do not play God. Mommy! My friend, my friend. Oh, I was the one that called you. Answer! I was the one that called you. Answer! I just committed murder. Take me to jail. Come here. Come here, my friend. If you move, you are dead. It's all about yes. your son, Izuna. Yes. The one who just came back from north. My son? Yes, my son. What happened? Where is he? Eh? He has been paraded by the police as a criminal all over the village with the daughter of Mze Gabe for, for the kidnapping of Amamchuku, the little prince. Hey, 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 this boy has quit for you. Oh no. Igwe! You are a witness to this. Yes. As the king of this kingdom, I'm also the custodian of culture and tradition. I bless this union. You see? I pray that you'll be blessed with the fruit of the womb as many as you wish. You see? And I see both of you as the future king and queen of this kingdom.